Hello everybody, this is Tom from Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle. How's everybody today? Today we're going to talk about what is the best foods for your heart. You know, I thought about this uh, the other day. I was not feeling well, I, you know, just this, that, and other. And I started researching superfoods. And I'm finding out there are always these top 10 or 15 superfoods are in everything. You know, the kidney your liver, your pancreas, your stomach, your colon, any your lungs, any of these, if you start eating uh, these type, this, these here I'm going to talk about today, it changes, it'll change your life. And so, you may not be able to get all these where you're at, just do the best you can. How about leafy greens, spinach, kale, collard, well known for their wealth of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. That's number one on our list today. They're a great source of vitamin K, which helps protect your arteries and promote proper blood clotting. They're high in dietary nitrates, which have been shown to reduce blood pressure. And it it actually helps the function of the cells of the blood of the blood vessels. Uh, they also found increasing your intake of leafy greens it lowers the risk of your heart disease. Uh, we all need to take a look at that. I know sometimes uh, that I started thinking about a lot of this now because I'm retired. And uh, started looking at the stuff and finding out these great foods that are available. And I've not been eating all these. Whole grains. Number two on the list is whole grains. And it's uh, the whole grains can uh, be beans. Uh, whole grains include whole wheat, brown rice, oats, rye, barley, buckwheat. And they they actually help in, in heart heart disease. There actually a lot of times people don't even eat a lot of the whole grains. Uh, I I used to eat a little bit of uh, barley. Well, I used to eat a lot of barley in my alcohol. No, I'm kidding. But back in the days where I was, uh, we we had a section in the store. It was always healthy food section. I used to start taking that. They actually how whole grains protect uh, one or two servings a day can protect your heart and decrease your risk for heart disease. Uh, make sure to read the ingredients labels when you're purchasing these. The whole grains or whole wheat uh, indicate the whole grain product, while words like wheat flour and multigrain may not. So make sure you really do some research on this and do your due diligence. We often don't think about that. Another great thing that you could take for your heart health it's really really good for you. If you can get them, get them in season, is berries, uh, berries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. They're packed with nutrients, antioxidants, full. They're just full antioxidants. I did not realize that such a, even blueberries. Blueberries seems to be the number one source of antioxidants. Strawberries are good. Uh, they take the stress and inflammation and... Uh, they're great for your health. Uh, daily, daily eating blueberries improve the function of the cells in your blood vessels, which helps control blood pressure and blood clotting. And they're a great snack. You know, you can have them any time of the day. Uh, great to have a, a blueberry or two along. I know that um, uh, for me, if I could get them, I would eat them all the time. And throw, uh, you know, even a handful can help you. Another great. Uh, great produce item, uh, great vegetables, avocados. It's an excellent source of heart healthy monosaturated fat. It's linked to reduce levels of cholesterol and lower risk of heart disease. It's lipid lowering uh, cardio protective effects of avocado. Avocado have, has some great impact and great studies done. They're rich in potassium and it's, it's great to have. When they're in season, Grab an avocado or two. A lot of times people don't realize uh, avocado, just a simple one avocado uh, along. You, you may not want to eat them every day. Great for salads. If you just have a little bit in your salad, it really makes a big difference. Avocados are something that uh, when they're in season, I really love them. There's so many things you can do with it. Add some olive oil, uh, just a little bit of mayonnaise. If you don't want the mayonnaise, you add a little sour cream to it. Uh, just a little bit of salt and pepper. If you want to really spice it up a little bit, add a little cayenne or chili uh, powder to it, either or. 
and uh, it makes a great, great dipping. Fatty fish, fatty fish and fish oil. Nothing better than salmon, mackerel, sardines, tuna. They're loaded with omega-3, which has been studied essentially for your heart health. Omega-3 is something that you should always take anyway, fish oil or some type. If you're not eating enough fish, uh, eat, take fish oil. That's what we do. Uh, we eat fish. That, I don't eat it every day. I eat sardines. I eat them all the time, but I get tired of them, actually. But another study that showed that if you eat fish over long term, it was linked in lowering the total cholesterol. And it helps uh, your blood sugar and your blood pressure. And if you, of course, like, like I said, if you don't take uh, any kind of fish oil or things like that, maybe you should think about it. It actually helps. Another great in that fish oil is you can also take krill or uh, krill oil, something like that, as an alternative if you can get the krill oil. Another great nut is a walnut. Walnut's a great source, micronutrients, and it's got a lot of copper and manganese in it. Uh, a few servings of walnuts will not hurt you. Great for salad. You can actually add them in uh, any kind of salad, things like that. Uh, a lot of people make um, vegetables, and uh, my mother used to add a few walnuts or almonds. Uh, we'll get to almonds. Almonds is great. Also, another great benefit to it. Uh, they had, they actually did a study on this in 2009. 365 participants studied in the diets with walnuts, and it decreased the LDL and the total cholesterol in all 365. So walnuts is a great way to reduce your blood pressure and lower risk of heart disease. Beans, lentils, split peas are really great, great, great benefits, and they give you beneficial bacteria for your gut. Uh, their resistance chart starch has a healthy impact on your gut. I know that I used to sell beans for a living, believe it or not. I used to have a product I used to sell in supermarkets, and I used to sell them all over the United States. I used to sell all the beans, you know, black eyed pea, kidney, red bean, black bean, red, um, um, the, the Spanish bean, uh, lentil, split pea, all of them. And I, I would sell them by bulk and or with seasoning in them and or whatever uh, it was that I was packaging at that time. But they do reduce blood pressure and I actually went on an all bean diet uh, back about uh, you know 10 years ago lost a lot of weight and just eat beans meaning having beans in a meal. But not anything in it. I would add protein of course meat, beef, chicken, uh, whatever in it and uh, make Cajun red bean a lot. That was my favorite uh, with spice. I love the spice. Chili, things like that. And I, I actually had it every meal. I'd make one big pot. I lost, oh, a lot of weight. And I had all the nutrients there I needed because I had all the vegetables there in it. And I didn't eat any pasta or anything with it or any rice. Every once in a while I would throw in some soda crackers or something like that to give me that edge. I wouldn't eat too many of them. But the uh, beans themselves are really good for you. Dark chocolate, number eight on the list, is one of the great things. Dark chocolate is rich in antioxidants. Great for ladies with a menstrual. Uh, it has uh, it boosts your heart health. And several studies have been done on chocolate. And, uh, what can I say? If it's chocolate, dark chocolate, it has cocoa uh, content of seventy percent. It's really good, and it's got a lot of healthy benefits. Cocoa is something that uh, if you can find good dark chocolate and if it has a good cocoa in it, is you can tell the richness of it. It's really delicious. We, uh, Ruth buys the dark, dark chocolate, legitimate, real dark chocolate, not fake that they have. We pay quite a bit for it. Uh, she uses it in her cakes. That's the reason her cakes are so delicious. Everybody loves her cakes. I mean, she's that in so many orders this last couple months because of the chocolate and the pure pure chocolate that she's buying. Uh, she's actually buying it from the United States and it takes us a while to get it here but it is the best chocolate in the world. So pick a high quality dark chocolate. 
and it's great for ladies with stomach and cramped pains. Tomatoes, lycopene, natural plant pigment. It's got a lot of great properties to it. To it. The thing about tomatoes is you have to be careful. Eating a tomato a day will never hurt you. Eating 10, 20 tomatoes a day will you know, give you indigestion like crazy. But it actually helps lower the levels. Low blood levels of lycopene are linked to increased risk. You, what you need to do is, is take tomato products and it actually has uh, great effects on the lipids. Tomatoes are really good for you. Uh, we found that they found that another 50 women that were overweight I uh, started eating two raw tomatoes a day, uh, a few times a week, uh, increase the levels of uh, HDL, which is good. We, we're we trying to uh, grow tomatoes here, or we're trying to find tomatoes and grow tomatoes. So here we go. Number 10 on the list is almonds. Nothing better than having a great almond. Bloating, uh, bo boosting long lists of vitamins and minerals uh, for heart health. Almonds are a great, great source, great source to help. Uh, eating almonds can have powerful effect on your cholesterol levels. So, the thing about almonds, they always, I don't know about you guys that had diets and take the diet plans, plans like Weight Watchers, some of the ones. Um, there's so many of them that tell you to eat almonds. A handful of almonds, not many. You know, a handful. You guys know what I am, but not this handful. But a handful of almonds a day keeps the doctor away. And I think it's really true to that. If you can get almonds and have a good almond or walnuts, it's really a lot of great, great type of benefits to that. And I think if you if you uh, consume that, it's really a good thing. Last but not least, the last one on the list is garlic. For century, garlic has been used natural remedy for a great variety of ailments. Uh, it's actually got medicinal properties to to garlic. Best way to have garlic is is you can cook it. Uh, if you cook it, chop it up, and let it to the side, and let it let it work its thing. Because once you cut it, it before you cook it, let's just sit there and let it sit for a few minutes before cooking. This allows for formation of allicin, and it helps the benefits and pulls out the benefits for you. I'm going to throw another one in there uh, just before I close this out because I love this one more than anything else. It's olive oil, olive oil, olive oil, olive oil. It's great antioxidant. It has um, it has a lot of benefits to it. And olive oil is something that um, I've always taken all my life, even as a child. And my mother did that, and it's really been a great benefit for me. So I want to thank everybody for always watching my videos. I have my buddy Omer here. He's sitting here. I don't know what he wants. He wants something. I think he wants his mommy. Uh, he's always wanting something. Thank you so much for watching our videos. And we'll see you next time on Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle. All right, Bubba?